Picture a bar, people crammed inside watching a band on the eve of the 4th of July. And you'll have some idea what it was like in a pub in Glasgow, Scotland last night when suddenly a police helicopter crashed through the roof. Today is St. Andrew's Day in Scotland, honoring the country's patron saint. But as Charlie Daggett reports from the somber scene, a rescue and recovery operation has replaced the celebrations. The remains of the police helicopter stuck out from the hole it gashed in the roof of the pub. One witness said it dropped out of the sky like a stone. This amateur video shows the chaos. The place was packed with 120 people listening to a live band. William Burns said he was lucky he was on the other side of the pub when the ceiling came down. And it was a huge bang. And there was like a couple of seconds of almost stillness after this bang and then the whole other side of the pub that from where I was in collapsed. Before emergency crews arrived, bystanders formed a human chain to rescue people trapped under the debris. Jim Murphy was one of those who stopped to help. There's people much, much deeper in the kind of debris of the pub and passing some injured, trying to pass injured people out. And all you did was grab the person that was given to you and pass them on to the next person. Friday had seen the start of celebrations to mark Scotland's national holiday, St. Andrew's Day. Instead, it turned to mourning. Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond. This is a, a black day for Glasgow and for Scotland. But it's also St. Andrew's Day. And it's a day we can take pride and courage in how we respond to adversity and tragedy. 14 people remain in the hospital, many with serious head and chest injuries. <laughs> Authorities haven't released the names of the victims yet. Kim Jardine is afraid she may hear the worst. I know the clicker well, and um, I drink in it very often. So I might know a few of the victims. We've seen heavy machinery throughout the day and tonight here at the site, Jim. Uh, they're still calling this a rescue and recovery operation. They say they still don't know what's under that debris and they can't know for sure until they're able to safely remove what's left of that helicopter first. A horrifying situation in Scotland tonight. Charlie, thank you.